Today, the Aido M7 was introduced to the Chinese market. There are six seats available in this full-size EREV SUV. Its highest trim level is equipped with two electric motors that, when combined, provide a total of 449 horsepower and 660 newton meters of torque. Welcome back to Tech Electric, you all. Today, we will talk about Huawei Aito M7. Regarding the beginning pricing of the M7, it is now set at 319,800 RMB. During the debut of the Aito M7, there were several similarities made between the M7 and other vehicles, including the BMW X7, the Mercedes-Benz GLS, and the Li Auto L9. Let's get to know Aito's flagship together, shall we? Who or what is Aito? Aito is a luxury brand that is co-managed by the companies Ceres, Socon, and Huawei. The year 2021 marked the beginning of their alliance, which began when Huawei began carrying the Ceres M5 SUV in its retail locations. In later years, the Aito was established. The name of this company is an acronym that may be interpreted as adding intelligence to an automobile. Manufacturing is handled by Ceres, while Huawei is responsible for providing the brains and a few other components for this joint brand. It is important to note that Ceres is the only owner of Aito, and Huawei does not hold any shares in the company. The Aito M5 was the very first car produced by Aito, and it was released to the public in February of 2022. And now we are at the point where we can go on to the second model, the appearance of the Aito M7 and its dimensions. The Aito M7 is a full-size sport utility vehicle. Its dimensions are 5120 by 1775 by 1775 millimeters, and its wheelbase measures 2820 millimeters. Therefore, it is not a particularly large automobile and has a somewhat short wheelbase. Compared to the Aito M7, for instance, the Li Auto L9 is 198 millimeters longer, 53 millimeters wider and 25 millimeters taller. In addition to this, the wheelbase of the L9 is 285 millimeters longer than that of the M7. It appears that the Lee Auto 1 is the most realistic challenger to the Aito's flagship, but they have opted to compare it with the enormous L9 as well as other gigantic automobiles such as the BMW X7 and the Mercedes-Benz GLS. The Aito M7's external design, on the other hand, doesn't accomplish anything to set itself out from the competition. Its front end was equipped with a strip of LED lights in between its two individual headlamps. The M7 features a large grille since it is a range-extended vehicle. The M7 is a conventional sport utility vehicle, as is evident when viewed from the side. However, it does have a roof spoiler, which is a modest yet sporty detail. It is important to note that the door handles of the M7 may be electrically retracted when not in use. The most remarkable aspect of it is its back end, which is primarily distinguished by a large LED taillight unit. The exterior of this SUV comes in six different colors, five of which are standard and one which is unique. The majority of them were given unusual names. Deep Space Ash, which is a shade of gray, Gilded Black, which is just black, Ceramic White, Mist Gold, and Frost Folk Green are the base colors, just green. Regarding the unique hue, we refer to it as Azure Blue. The Aito M7 has a general appearance of a standard six-seat sport utility vehicle. However, due to its straightforward and uncomplicated layout, the M7 appears to be in good shape. Interior of the Aito M7 We have already brought up the fact that the M7 has a configuration with six seats. Aito takes a great deal of pride in the M7's cabin. They claim that the length of the passenger compartment is 2605 mm. In this instance, Aito drew parallels between the BMW X7, the Mercedes-Benz GLS, and the Audi Q7. The M7 may not be the largest vehicle, but it makes efficient use of the space it offers. The hardwood and gloss black trim that is included in the center console of the Aito M7 gives it a beautiful appearance. The M7's primary display has a width of 15.6 inches and a height of 5.7 inches. The diameter of the instrument panel measures 10.25 inches. The M7 also comes equipped with a diamond-shaped gear shifter, two wireless phone charging pads, a stylish steering wheel with a flat bottom, and a diamond-shaped gear shifter. Let's return for a moment to the primary interface of the game. The Huawei-developed Harmony OS operating system is its most notable attribute. The ability to make video calls, a voice assistant, and a sizable ecosystem for app development are its primary advantages. In addition to that, Huawei offers a sound system for the Aito M7. It is only referred to as Huawei Sound, and it is equipped with 19 speakers in addition to 1,000 watts of power. It is important to point out that the M7's second row of seats is equipped with basic heating, cooling, and massaging capabilities. 
Regarding the hues, there are four distinct tones, amber brown, polar night black, spring apricot, a light brown, and ivory white. The powertrain for the Aido M7. The M7 is powered by a gasoline-fueled H15RT 1.5-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine that generates 92 kilowatts of horsepower. Because the M7 is a range extender, the ICE simply powers the battery. The M7 is available in two distinct iterations. The first one utilizes a solitary electric motor mounted on the back axle, which generates 200 kilowatts of power and 360 Nm of torque. The second one has two electric motors and their total output is 660 newton meters and 330 kilowatts. It is important to note that Huawei is the manufacturer of the electric motors in the M7. According to Aito's estimates, the BMW M7 RWD will be able to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 7.8 seconds. When it comes to all-wheel drive, the AWD has a time of 4.8 seconds to get from 0 to 100. And once more, Aito contrasted the M7 with a few German automobiles as well as the Tesla Model Y. In addition, Aito stated that the M7 was able to pass the Moose test at 74 km per hour which is once again superior to the results of the X7, the GLS, and so on. The CATL manufactured Li NMC battery provides 40 kilowatt hours of power for every iteration of the M7. The BMW M7 RWD can go up to 195 kilometers in entirely electric mode with it on board, and it can travel up to 1100 kilometers with a range extender. When it comes to the M7 AWD, a purely electric range of 165 kilometers WLTC and a hybrid range of 1,000 kilometers are also possible, WLTC. It is important to note that the fuel consumption of the M7 RWD is 6.86 liters per 100 kilometers, whereas the fuel consumption of the M7 AWD is 7.45 liters per 100 kilometers. Aito M7 Prices The base model of the M7, which just has one electric motor, can be purchased for 319,800 RMB. The price of the second trim level, which comes equipped with two motors, is 339,800 RMB. When it comes to the most expensive trim level, the price tag is 379,800 RMB. Overall, the Aito M7 is a capable crossover that comes equipped with advanced technology and a roomy cabin. Stay tuned because we are going to be monitoring the progress of this vehicle. With 20,000 units pre-sold in just four hours, the Aito M7 EREV SUV has been an astonishing success. It appears that having a clean design, a roomy internal space, and some Huawei technology allowed the M7 to become a serious risk to a lot of different types of DSUVs and ESUVs. It is important to note that the luxury brand Aito is co-managed by the company Ceres and Huawei. It is important to note that the Aito model line now consists of only two automobiles, specifically the Aito M5 and the Aito M7. In June of 2022, they made 7,021 sales of the M5 model. The M7 full-size EREV SUV was made available for pre-sale by Aito on July 4th. Its precise proportions are 5,020 by 1775 by 1775 millimeters, with its wheelbase measures 2,820 millimeters. The Aito M7 is not a very large automobile, but it does have a clever space conversion. It has a length of 2,605 millimeters for the passenger compartment. It triumphs over significantly larger automobiles such as the BMW X7 and the Mercedes-Benz GLS. The BMW M7 always comes equipped with six passenger seats. In addition, the seats in the second row were equipped as standard with heating, air conditioning, and massaging features. Inside the Aito M7 is a plethora of different Huawei technologies, beginning with a Harmony OS operating system and ending with a 1000-watt Huawei sound system. Well, now we are at the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. If you have any questions or queries in your mind, tell me in the comment box and also check out our channel you find really cool stuff.